بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون لاسٹ ٹائم وی وار ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کارپریٹ گورننس اینڈ انسٹیٹیوشنل انویسٹرس ٹوڈے وی گوئن ٹو ٹیک دیٹ ڈسکشن لیٹ بٹ فارورڈ اینڈ وی گوئن ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا ڈفرنٹ فیکٹرز افیکٹنگ انسٹیٹیوشنل انویسٹمنٹ ڈسیزن سو ان آر لاسٹ سیشن وی ٹاک اباؤٹ دا فیکٹ دیٹ وین ایور انسٹیٹیوشنل انویسٹرز آر ٹیکنگ ڈسیزن اٹ ہیز اے ہیوج امپیکٹ آن دی آرگنائزیشن بیکاز دے آر کنٹرولنگ اے لارج سم آف اماؤنٹ آف شیئرز اینڈ سیکنڈلی دے کین ایکسٹریکیٹ دم سیلس or they can further invest in that company. So therefore, the board gives a lot of consideration to the institutional investor. And many a times, there are institutional uh, investors who are also on the board. Now, there are different factors which affect the decision making of in institutional investment. And let's look at those uh, factors uh, today. Well, the first one is the most important one, and that is financial results and solvency, uh, the concern of any investor. This is the most important factor among uh, factors such as an upward trend in earnings per share and profits, uh, a healthy cash flow, and a reasonable level of dividend payment. So these uh, three considerations in the context of financial results tend to simplify the primary interest of the institutional investor. And therefore, it is very important that organizations cater to these requirements so that their institutional investor does not leave them and actually invest more and also tries to attract more institutional investors into the financial framework of that particular organization. The second one uh, is also related to that and all of these uh, are consideration indicators of the financial health of the organization and therefore uh, a consistent dividend policy is of less importance. So even though many times we feel that maybe that policy uh, of consistency is very important but not so, uh, actually uh, a growing policy is much better and again those different indicators which uh, the investor looks at uh, is, is beyond these and therefore uh, the board and the top management must cater to all of these particular requirements. Uh, in the context of financial statements and annual reports, the extent of disclosure is very important. Uh, how much of it is? What is it about the company strategies? The financial position of the uh, organization and again Uh, how is it that it tends to uh, indicate the public's emphasis on profitability and optimization of revenue. So that becomes very important. Uh, there should be a, a comparability with the international IFRS standard and that is again a very important consideration for the investors. Why? Because if the company is non-compliant, then there can be window dressing, then uh, there can be uh, also duality or multiplicity of accounts which would uh, tend to create uh, apprehensions within the institutional investor and therefore to ensure uh, that those apprehensions do not come uh, compatibility and comparability with IFRS would be considered to be an asset and uh, a selling point for the organization in the context of institutional investors. Uh, composition and quality of a board, well that is another area uh, where these institutional investors have a lot of influence because they want to have a high quality board so that Uh, the whole organization can benefit from that particular board and again uh, they can also be uh, a, a direct concern or a direct influence uh, about independent non-executive directors on the board. So all of these different considerations are actually a part of the decision making process of these uh, corporate investment, investment uh, investors. Now uh, different corporate governance practices, uh, they, they look at investment decisions, how auditing and compliance should take place disclosure, transparency, and board processes. So all of these uh, tend to further augment upon the workability, profitability, and the sustainability of an organization. And these institutional investors would base their decisions based upon uh, all of these things, especially when we talk about disclosure, transparency, and the board processes. So all of these become very important. And these all translate to further reinforcing the corporate image, which uh, enables Uh, the investor to take a decision in favor or against that particular organization. And this ultimately goes down to the share price because uh, the investment decision is based upon the share price. Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it stagnant? Uh, what are the different factors affecting uh, the share prices? And how are the shares uh, basically performing uh, in the stock exchanges? So these are all very important for uh, the, the institutional investors and their decisions are taken Uh, based upon these different factors, these different elements, uh, the board, uh, its constitution and its structure 
its way of decision making would be affecting the final decision making of the institutional investor. Thank you so much.